In Martin County, Kentucky State Police have launched an investigation into the Warfield Volunteer Fire Department after four fire trucks were repossessed. County officials tell us a loan company from out of state repossessed the trucks Monday and will not give them back until the department makes substantial payments on loans taken out against the trucks. The issue came up at tonight's meeting of the Martin County Fiscal Court where I talked to the department's chief and the county judge executive about their plan to get the fire engines back. The fleet of trucks at the Warfield Volunteer Fire Department is a lot smaller than usual after four engines were repossessed earlier this week. The fire chief says representatives from the first government lease company in Northfield, Illinois, took the fire trucks, claiming loans taken out on them had not been paid back. It impacted me pretty bad. I, I got mad at first, and then it hurt, it hurt me because the community is who's suffering out this. Department leaders and county officials are trying to figure out who applied for the loans on the trucks and why, since the vehicles were already paid off. Kentucky State Police are investigating. In the meantime, Warfield firefighters are wondering how to get the trucks back. Right now we're going to try to seek some legal aid and see what we can do if it was done legally. Um, and go from there. The Warfield Volunteer Fire Department is now down to two fire engines and a rescue truck. However, the chief tells me that they are still able to provide adequate fire coverage to people in this area because they're receiving help from departments in nearby Inez and Kermit, West Virginia. A message reinforced by Judge Executive Kelly Callahan at Thursday night's Martin County Fiscal Court meeting. Callahan says at this point he's not sure if the repossessed fire engines will ever be returned to Warfield. There are some avenues that with some grant money we might be able to purchase a truck. We have some money set aside for Warfield for a new farmhouse, and we might be able to change the scope of work on that money to be able to buy a fire truck and, and try to get this thing move forward. Hoping for a quick solution to a situation that has folks in Martin County burning for answers. I left a message with the first government lease company to ask about the loans and have not heard back yet.